If you produce accessible PDFs, Extreme lets you add IDs to table header cells. These IDs preserve the logical relationships between rows and columns so that accessibility tools can read the information correctly. For example, this data cell is related to this row header and this column header. It is also related to these two header cells. You can specify an ID for each of these header cells and then reference the IDs on the data cell. To make sure that the table is read correctly, select an active read option on the Accessibility tab at each level in the design. You can set ID values only on header cells. A cell is considered a header cell if it is part of an automated header row or column, or if you've selected Table Header Cell on the Accessibility tab. To set an ID value on a header cell, in Designer, select the header cell, right-click, and then select Cell Properties. Click the Accessibility tab. In the Header Cell ID box, enter a value to use for the Table Header Cell ID. Each ID value that you use in your design must be unique. Click OK. Repeat this process for each header cell in your table design. You can reference an ID value on a data cell or another header cell. In Designer, select a table cell, right-click, and then select Cell Properties. Click the Accessibility tab. In the Available Header Cell IDs box, select the IDs that you want to associate with the cell, and then click the right arrow button. You can use these arrows to change the order in which the information is read by accessibility tools. Click OK. Repeat this process for each cell in your table design. In the PDF output, you can view the IDs by opening the properties on any table header cell tag.